Far beneath the surface of the ocean, as sunlight fades to darkness, exists an almost hidden world home to an incredible diversity of life. Despite the vastness of the deep ocean and the striking abundance of marine life that thrives there, this environment is still virtually unknown. With still so much to explore, discover, and learn about the depths of our ocean planet, deepwater ecosystems provide an amazing platform for scientific research. So understanding the deep ocean is of fundamental importance to understand the planet as a whole. So when you think about the size of the ocean, and especially the deep ocean, it makes more than 90% of the volume or the space that we can inhabit or that any living organism can inhabit. A team of dedicated ocean scientists and engineers from Lehigh University and Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution are developing revolutionary new ways to study deepwater ecosystems. These cutting-edge methodologies have the power to enhance the pace, scope, and efficiency of ocean exploration as well as provide a more complete picture of marine biodiversity, which can inform the management and conservation of deep water resources around the globe. In the Gulf of Mexico, approximately 100 nautical miles off the coast of Texas, is Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary. Marked by spectacular shallow water coral reefs home to a bustling community of marine species, from intricate invertebrates to dazzling megafauna. Farther down, as darkness begins to take over, flourishing marine communities in the form of deepwater coral ecosystems continue to persist. Aboard NOAA research vessel the RV Manta, these researchers are on a mission to use innovative methodologies to explore the biodiversity of deepwater ecosystems near Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary, as well as the deeper continental slope. Better understanding these less explored and less understood deep water ecosystems is crucial as they, like their shallow water relatives, play a vital role in an overall healthy ocean system. So how are these scientists exploring the biodiversity of deep water ecosystems? With eDNA. eDNA, or environmental DNA, is composed of small traces of genetic material that organisms leave behind in the water column. From jellyfish to corals to fish and even whales, marine animals are constantly leaving invisible signs of their presence in the environment. eDNA is short for environmental DNA, and the idea behind it is somewhat similar to forensic science. It's this idea that all eukaryotic organisms, including people, shed their DNA into the environment. One of the great advantages of utilizing environmental DNA is that we can capture in through the seawater the diversity of organisms that live in, in an area. We have estimates from different studies that tells us that maybe more than 90% of the biodiversity that exists in the ocean remains to be discovered. And so eDNA could act as a tool to give us hints of what that missing biodiversity we haven't discovered is. To collect eDNA, water samples from various depths in the ocean must first be obtained. Enter Mesobot. This state-of-the-art autonomous deep water robot from Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution is designed to study deep water organisms without disturbing their environment and behavior. While Mesobot's primary focus is to track elusive twilight zone organisms using cameras and dimmable lights in a non-invasive way, in this research collaboration as part of the Ocean Twilight Zone project, Dr. Annette Govindarajan is using pumped filter seawater samplers on Mesobot in order to filter eDNA from the water while at depth in the Gulf of Mexico. The Mesobot is a, is a new kind of robot that's designed to actually emulate a skilled scientific diver with, of course, a whole lot of additions. Okay, so it can hover, it can, it, it can see the ocean without disturbing it, it can see the animals without disturbing them, and it can actually follow animals using stereo cameras, but it has a lot of other functions too. On this particular expedition, we are using it to sample environmental DNA. We're not sampling animals. We're not sampling pieces of animals, we're sampling traces of the DNA that the animals leave in the water. Water samples were also collected at depth using a CTD rosette, 
A staple in the world of oceanography, this instrument array houses sensors to measure salinity, temperature, and depth, as well as a series of bottles that can be individually triggered to close and collect seawater at specific depths. While at sea, filtered eDNA was preserved by freezing. Back in the lab, the groups of Dr. Santiago Herrera, Dr. Jill McDermott, and Dr. Annette Govindarajan are working to purify the eDNA and use modern gene sequencing technologies to identify coral, fish, and invertebrate species that call this region of the deep Gulf of Mexico home. So in order to get the DNA out of the, the eDNA samples, what we do is we collect fresh seawater using either the mesobot or with the CTD rosette. That water gets pumped through sterilized tubing into a sterile, very fine mesh filter that traps cells and extracellular DNA within the mesh of those fibers. That material gets frozen on dry ice here on board, gets shipped cold back to our university where it's then extracted, uh, undergoes a polymerization reaction, and then we can then barcode those samples in order to match them up with coral or fish organisms. Herrera and McDermott are also pursuing new lines of research in exploring how varying ocean conditions like temperature, chemistry, and pH, along with the speed and direction of localized currents, affects the stability and persistence of eDNA in the deep ocean. Another important thing that we're trying to do with the samples we collect in this expedition is to understand how the DNA preserves in seawater. So how long can we detect the DNA after it has been shed from an animal in the seawater? Generating a model to estimate for how far and for how long eDNA remains in the water column will provide an important framework for marine scientists around the world to use eDNA as an accurate means for studying biodiversity of deep water ecosystems. Overall, eDNA allows for a more cost-effective and less intrusive way to study the deep ocean. By simply collecting samples of seawater, scientists are able to gather important genetic information about the species that call the depths of our planet home. eDNA research can be carried out for a fraction of the price compared to more traditional methods, and rather than having to continue to collect physical tissue samples or whole specimens to obtain genetic information, these deepwater ecosystems can now be learned about without disturbance. eDNA also allows for a more broad analysis of deepwater ecosystems since identification of a wide variety of species can be detected from a single water sample. Taking an eDNA sample really only requires water and sterilized equipment, and so it has a real value of not um, harming an organism, not requiring the physical collection of a specimen, and so in that sense it's completely non-invasive and, and doesn't impact the environment that we're interested in. With eDNA we can just pump water and establish baselines for wider coverage in biodiversity throughout the world's oceans. The results from this eDNA research will be directly applicable to the management and conservation of areas currently being considered for protection as part of the proposed expansion of Flower Garden Banks National Marine Sanctuary, which has the potential to encompass a much larger and deeper area of the Gulf of Mexico. So there's been a lot of interest in potentially expanding the National Marine Sanctuary here in the Gulf of Mexico. We believe that this eDNA research can be important groundwork for, for underpinning that, that expansion and identifying which of the banks contain hotbeds of biodiversity. With that knowledge in hand, we can then make informed decisions about which of these banks is most important to protect as we expand the sanctuary. The deep ocean is an integral part of our planet, the planet that sustains us all. This vast, relatively unexplored environment plays a key role in regulating ocean chemistry and biology, which in turn strongly affects global climate. With threats from overfishing, climate change, and oil spills looming, better understanding the deep ocean is ideal for everyone on Earth. With the use of eDNA as a more effective and less disruptive methodology, Science is unlocking the secrets of the deep ocean and the incredible variety of animals that live there, one drop of seawater at a time.